we set myself because there's 12 years there after having a kid, two kids, jumping around from relationship to relationship. I should be experiencing what I'm experiencing now in my 40s. I should be experiencing this stuff in my 30s. I get I got distracted for 10 years. I derailed myself for 10 years. And by the way, some guys will never hear this in their entire life. Why? Because I still run into some old heads who's 60 years old, still trying to run game on 20 year olds. Like, bro, you realize you're 60, right? So in this episode of the Seven Figure Squad for the Vlogmas series, we're going to share with you a little bit of an insight, about 20 minutes of an hour and a half long conversation I had with a group of young men, and they asked me to speak to these, this group. By the way, these principles also apply to our young ladies in their 20s, but what I would do differently now that I'm in my 40s, what do I do differently in my 20s if I start all over again? Because I share with here in this video that I spent my 30s, my entire 30s, repaying the mistakes of my 20s. So if you want to save yourself money, want to save yourself a lot of grief, you definitely want to save yourself a lot of time, please check out this video. Let me know what you think. I remember when I was 23 years old when I started this business. I was, uh, I was just getting out of the Marine Corps. I got recruited into financial services back in 1998, 1999. It, is, uh, it was right out there. I was, I was living in Irvine off 254 Santa Barbara off of Jamboree and Culver because uh, the Marine Corps base was there. Marine Corps uh, Air Station Tustin and Marine Corps Air Station El Toro right there off the five either the Red Hill exit or the Sand Canyon, uh, Sand Canyon Road exit. That's where I was. So my stomping ground was Irvine. My stomping ground was, was Edinger, uh, the Santa Ana Auto Mall, you know, uh, Costa Mesa Mall, Newport Beach, Fashion Island, Balboa. I, that, that, that was my stomping ground. I mean, back in the day, we used to cruise on, uh, what was it, Harbor Boulevard? Used to be a lot of cruising there. Today, it's an illegal cruising activity there in Orange County, uh, Orange County California. But love me some OC, love me some Orange County. Anyway. I remember coming to this business, 23 years old, I just got divorced, and um, I, was I was mad, I was mad, I was mad at the world, mad at her, and I'm, I'm beating myself on the chest, I'm still a man, I'm still a man, I'm still a man, you know, and, uh, and I, I channeled my energy into things that weren't right, and, and guys, if I could be honest with you guys, you know, if you know, if you know, you know, know something about your, your, your board council here, it's... Uh, <laughs> I was trying to validate myself as a man by trying to date around, okay? I was trying to validate myself by dating around. I'll tell you this, man. You think that's cool. You think you have a feather in your cap. You think you got, uh, you, you walk around like that. You have your, you, you, I, I used to party there at the, in Hollywood at Florentine Gardens. There used to be a club there in Irvine uh, called Kokomo's right out there off of MacArthur and, uh, MacArthur and, and Red Hill. Uh, uh, MacArthur and uh, Culver, Jamboree, one of those. It's right across the street. We used to club all the time. And I was validating myself as a man by trying to date around and sleep around. What did it get me? It gave me nothing. It got me nothing. It got, it got me worse and worse and worse and worse. And there, there's, there's nothing that uh, I take from that journey outside of the fact that none of, the, none of my crew that hung out with me during that time uh, do, I ever uh, do I ever communicate with. Zero. And uh, uh, the benefit of being 46 years old today is, is having the benefit of still remembering what it was like to be in my 20s, but having a 46-year-old brain, okay? And so if, if there's something I can sprinkle into your careers, and I hope you stay with PHP for the long term, man, because we're doing some great things here. So what I'm saying with you is this. This business will pay off to you greatly if you actually run the business. If you follow the system, stay coachable, stay hungry, stay humble, and, and, and build your next stud, studettes. What will take you out, what will take you out is distractions. And what will take you out is distractions. Like if I, if I can share with the young men, the younger men, okay? The younger men, date your business. If you're going to taproot, taproot your business. <laughs> right? If you're going to drive something wide and deep, do it to your business, okay? Do it to that, okay? To, to the married men in this business. You got something good. You made a decision to get married. My suggestion is keep married. You made a, you made a decision. You want to get married. And for whatever values and, and principles you, you want to get married. And everything is about growing through it. Sometimes the same reasons why you love her is the same reason why you can't stand her. That's marriage. By the way, that's going to be a relationship with this business too. <laughs> Man, can't stand this business. But I love it. 
Right? Man, I can't stand this business, but it pays me two fifty a year. Man, I can't stand the business, it pays me a million dollars a year. You just grow through it. Because you're evolving, you're changing. But is, is that one of the books I read, I don't know if you guys read this, but I'm, I'm not trying to preach here, but uh, one of the books I read, I, I'm a big John Maxwell fan, and one of his favorite books I read is the way he interpret, interprets, it, interprets the Bible based on his leadership principles. So I, I'm reading the Bible, and I'm, I'm understanding his leadership principles. So this is a great book for you. If you want to apply leadership principles to how the Bible guides you, this, this is what I read. Maxwell Leadership Bible. Okay, anyway, make a long story short. Every book in the Bible has some strong, powerful, general, man, influencer get taken out by the wrong woman. They got connected to the wrong woman. They connected with the wrong woman. They dated the wrong woman. They slept with the wrong woman or women's. Okay? And so if you want to take yourself out of, of, of your, your success ladder... It's going to be connecting with the wrong woman. You know, but think about it. Every, every man, just think about it from David. King David got taken out by, by, by Bathsheba. Okay? And his son, Solomon, got taken out by women because they were praising God, pagan gods all over the world. So, so many different stories about men getting taken out. Samson, Delilah. So, so many different stories taken out by connecting with the wrong woman. Okay? And, uh, and by the way, just so you know, if you want to, if you want to know, have a guideline... Of a woman to consider in your life, Proverbs Proverbs thirty one. A, a, a woman of noble character. There's guidelines. There's principles. Okay. And so as, as I was as I was dating uh, and I discovered Sheena, I took her through a series of questions, and the and one of them was social media. And my my uh, and she goes, well, great. If if you trust me, you trust with social media, yeah. It can go through any of my social media and can see who I liked, who I'm DMing, who I'm messaging, and there's nothing happening behind your back. In fact, I'm going to install Instagram on your phone using my login. And you can switch be between your account and my account anytime you want. Facebook, anytime. Uh, here, take my phone and go into the bathroom, lock yourself in the bathroom, go through all my stuff, my emails, my text messages, all that stuff, because I got nothing to hide. I'm telling you this. No games. No games. No games with your girlfriend. No games with your wife. Shoot. No games with yourself. And so when, when you're looking at when you're looking at this business, because the biggest thing that you're doing right now as a man, as a provider, as a builder, is you're stepping on something very powerful. You you don't uh, some of you may or may not even realize it. But you have the power. To affect many lives in this business. And somebody said, well, well I'm, I'm built. Listen, okay, on this wall over there, on, on my wall over there, okay, is, is, is so weird how, how, how God has been used in, uh, been talking to my entire life, but I wasn't listening. Here, here, here's that picture. I don't know if you guys see that, but it's, uh, it, it's, a, it's a picture of me playing basketball. I don't know if you guys see that. But on my jersey, I'm 16 years old. On my jersey, I don't know if you guys see the letters. It says A-L-W. A-L-W. Do, do you guys know what A-L-W means? A-L Williams. You know what A-L Williams is today? What's A-L Williams today? Anybody know? What's A-L Williams called today? Primerica. So at 16 years old, man, the whole financial services world has been calling me, but I wasn't listening. So something in your life, you could have got recruited by ACN, you could have got recruited by real estate, you could have got recruited by Bitcoin, Forex, all this stuff, but somehow, some way, you chose to invest time in this afternoon in financial services with PHP and this leadership group called TGA. All I'm saying is that something powerful is happening in your life. You may not even know it. You may not even realize it. Okay, so let's establish that. Something powerful is going on in each and every man's life right here. What will distract you is your interaction with members of the opposite sex or, I mean, guys, I, 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 I got to be inclusive today. Whether you date male or, I don't care. I'm not here to judge you. But who are you supposed to love? Whoever it is, that Wrong relationship is going to distract you if it's the wrong one, and how you and how you interact on social media. 
I'll give you an example. I don't, if, 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 uh, if a hot chick sends me a DM, I've gotten this. She sends me a DM, she's sending all, she's sending all the right signals. I said, you, you know, if you don't think a, a, mar a married man's ring, listen, people don't give a shit. There's, if, they, if they feel they can get something from you, they're gonna send you, they're gonna send you a message. Anyway, I get all sorts of knucklehead messages on my thing, videos and pictures and all that stuff. I'm like, why am I getting this stuff? I'm not, even, I'm not even putting anything out there. So I'm not even out there looking for it. Is what I'm saying. It's coming to you. So it's so what I'm saying to you. It'll come to you. You ain't even looking for it. So if you ain't even looking for it, don't go out. Be proactive. Look for it. I as a as a general rule. Now I'm not trying to tell you what to do, but something you should be considering. I, I, as a general rule, if there's a hot chick and she's in a bikini. And she, you know these chicks today, they're, 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 they're doing booty, like, how many, how many times do you got to see the same girl doing a damn booty workout in leggings? And damn, right? And, and you know Instagram is sending it to you, and who's following her? Millions, jeez, what a bunch of perverts out there, right? Why, why look at that stuff? You ain't getting at it. Here's what you need to be stabbing, you need to be stabbing your business. Getting qualified for Hawaii. Finding out who you are as a man and allowing yourself to grow through entrepreneurship and finding out what that is. Because he, he, here's one thing that I, if, if there's one thing I regret as a, as a, as a younger man, I, act, I, act, I, was, I was talking to my buddy because he's 40, 43 years old. He just had his first kid. And I'm thinking to myself, what happens if I had my kid at 40 years old? Because right now, Jordan, he's, he's, he's running around all over the place. And guess what, I don't, guess what I don't worry about right now? I don't worry about money. Hey, babe, we want to drop 12 grand in the, in the loft so we can create a Minecraft room. No problem. Hey, babe, uh, uh, do you mind if we send him into Montessori or this? No problem. What do you think is best for him? I am making the right decision for my family, not based on cost, but what's best for them. You know why? Because I took time to reset myself. Because there's 12 years there after having a kid, two kids, jumping around, from relationship to relationship, I should be experiencing what I experienced. And now in my 40s, I should be experiencing this stuff in my 30s. I, get, I got distracted for 10 years. I derailed myself for 10 years. And by the way, some guys will never hear this in their entire life. Why? Because I still run into some old heads who's 60 years old, still trying to run game on 20-year-olds. Like, bro, you realize you're 60, right? You, buy, you think I'm funny. It's freaking, it's, it's weird. Bunch of 56 year old running after 20 year old. I mean, bro, you realize that she could be your daughter. Shit, she could be your grandkid. And, and they haven't grown. They haven't changed. You know why? Because they haven't had this conversation. And so all, all I'm saying is, as a protocol, as a protocol, something to consider doing to keep focused uh, on your business because you're going to start making money. Manuel Morales, you look sharp, bro. You're in a suit and you're in a tie. You look sharp, bro. You're a good looking dude. You can start making quarter million dollars a year. You start making more money, guess what happens to you? You start looking very good. <laughs> Michael Marquez, same thing. Shirt, tie, guess what starts to happen? You start making half a million dollars a year. You're very, very, very attractive to a lot of people out there. Right? And you get, the, the higher you come up, you got to be like, yo, who's coming at me? Who's coming from a personal perspective? Who's coming at me? And you think like, yo, dog, yeah, this is what I work for. Yeah, time to let loose. Ah, I see, guys, I've seen a lot of guys. I've seen the, I've seen the, oh, I, weird thing about being 46, I've seen the 01 crash, and I've seen the 08, 09 crash in financial services. So, and now I'm seeing the pandemic crash. I'm seeing the pan, I'm seeing four drops in the marketplace. And, guys, four times now. Four times now. I've seen Men fall. I got a guy right now, literally, I got a guy right now that's in real estate, one of my Marine Corps buddies, trying to stab everything, you know, he's trying to get, you know, he's, bro, bro, what are you doing? You're four years old, trying to sleep here, sleep around here and there, whatever. Anyway, he's selling his Maserati right now. He's asking me, hey, Matt, can you buy my Maserati? I don't want a freaking Maserati, bro. I'm driving a Rolls. Just take it as your, 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 your beater. My, my, bro, my, my, my Rolls Royce right now is a beater. Okay, I don't want to beat around as a Maserati. I'm talking about. I told you to stop screwing around. Now she wants a divorce. 
or now she wants to break up with you. See? Now you got to move out. By the way, moving out and grabbing your shit from the front of the yard because she threw all your stuff out is expensive and embarrassing. <laughs> so when, when, when you're thinking about your business, your success, you have to keep this in mind. Put yourself in the right position to succeed because I want you to make it and keep it and, and compound it. I don't, I don't want you to, I would hate for you to make it, bust your tail, conferences, getting called out, competition, and boom, wrong relationship. Boom, wrong interaction on social media. Boom, you lose it all. And so when, when you're looking at your business, guys, I, you know, I'm, I'm, again, I'm not here to try to run your life. I'm just trying to, I, I'm, or tell you what to do with your life. All I'm saying is for, for a guy that's been around, been there, done that, um, it's been uncomfortable for me, embarrassing for me, being in the wrong relationship. I, uh, I've, been in, I've, been, I've been in child support court on two different cases. And uh, by the way, the weirdest thing, I've had custody of the kids every time. But every time I enter the court case and they know that, I'm always the bad guy. I spent unnecessary money on family lawyers that really I didn't have to, I really didn't have to have, but I had to fight the system to express my, to express my, uh, my rights as a dad. So all I'm saying is you think she's hot, but when you go through all this, she's not. And all I'm saying too as well is sex in a relationship, it's about 15% of the marriage. It's about 50% of relationship. Why? Because you get up the next morning, you realize she got bad breath. You wake, you wake up in the morning, you realize, damn, you look like that without makeup? <laughs> right? And, and what, what I'm saying is, man, you find, you find you a genuine girl. You find you a genuine girl. And by the way, the, the, uh, don't think that the women aren't working on them too. We got to work on our end as a man. As men. You got to work on our end as a man. Especially with, with the path that God has got you on this right now. I, listen, I, you know, I believe that this company has got a special blessing on it. Special blessing on it. Why? As soon as I decide to get my life together, I, I meet with Patrick. The next thing, next thing you know, the 20, the 15 years of whatever I was doing before PBD, I get to compound that by 50 times in the last five years. There's a, there's a, it's kind of like Mario Kart, right? You hit, that, you hit the arrows, and you go, you go like that, you take off really quick. That's, like, that's what PHP has been to me. But the slight, remember you hit those arrows, but the slight left, turn to left, turn to right, you don't maximize the speed that you're on. And so just be mindful of the people that you're liking, DMing, and you, the last thing I would think that your business takes a reversal because of the wrong social media posts. Because here's the thing too as well, as soon as you put it on social media, somebody can snapshot it and lives on the internet forever. You think you're DMing somebody? Or you think you're texting somebody? All somebody has to do from a text message or a DM, they snapshot it and they put it up on a tweet. They put it on Instagram. You're caught. You're dead. You're done. Because as soon as you put it out there, you can't take it back. So it's it's a uh, it, it's a crazy world that you and I live in. It's it's causing us to really revisit this conversation. And I'm so glad that an organization that's forward thinking, leaders like Jose Marlene Gaetan is forward thinking enough to introduce this type of conversation with you. I look, listen, at the end of the day, guys, if you got questions about this type of stuff, let's talk about it in Hawaii, shall we? Love to see you guys uh, there uh, in Hawaii. We'll have a cigar on the beach. Listen, once you guys get to your destination, man, don't let nothing stop you. Don't let nothing stop you. Build it so therefore you can keep it. Don't build it to lose it. That being said, guys, that's my time. I hand it back over to you guys at TJ. With that being said, tell me again. Continue to live smart. Continue to love smart. My smart thing. I bless you guys. <laughs> You thank you so much, Master Paula. That was incredible. That was amazing. And again, Proverbs 31. I'm I'm reading that. I'm getting that Maxwell book from the Bible. I'm 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 reading that right. I'm like I'm getting it. Oh my God! So so many nuggets. Thank you so much, so much. It was a, it was amazing. It was incredible. How how was it, guys? Was it incredible? Yeah. Yeah. Hello, man. We have the whole, the, the whole thing here, okay? Thank you very much.